what's left to agree upon? Really? Just really just the time, really. Mm-hmm. Is, when can you come? That's the question I want to hear. What time can you be here? So this is what I did. So I did, I had my first, before I read your book, and I, this is a shout out, this is a credit directly to you to be perfectly honest. I'll keep that 100%. My process was very sloppy. It was very unorganized. People would call me. And Andre, you know, his course, credit to his course, he's like, listen, do A, B, and C, and your phone will ring. And I did A, B, and C, and sure enough, my phone started ringing. But I wasn't ready for that because I'm asking, all right, um, what kind of document do you have? Okay, all right. Um, will you be able to sign at 2 o'clock on Thursday? Or what about Wednesday? Is that good for you? Um, well, uh, will all of your parties be there? Like, it's very mm-hmm. sloppy, very unorganized, it's very unprofessional. And callers, they hear it. Mm-hmm. They know that they can hear it when your operation is very staggered and very unorganized. So I eliminate all of that. Started off with the note, with the script. So someone calls me, hey, um, hey, I live in Chicago and I have a, I have a, um, a domestic partnership application because, you know, me and my uh, fiance, we're not married, but we need to get access to this money, <laughs> right? That's really what they're asking. They want to get the money. So I stopped them right there. All right, first of all, I need three pieces of information. First, really, I need to know where do you live? Because that's going to tell me how much I need to charge you for travel. Second, I need to know, do you have your valid form of identification? So do you have a driver's license, a passport, so that way I know that you are who you say you are. Can you prove that? Yeah? Okay. And then how many times are you going to be signing a document? Those three pieces of information is really all I need. Really only two. Where do you live and how many times are you going to sign a document? Mm-hmm. That's really all the information I really need. So they know, they call me, they know I can fulfill this. I know I can. What I've done is just given them those two questions to answer ahead of time and then once they say yes, confirm, they pay, then I get the alert, shows up on my phone, and then I accept it, and then I go meet them. That's mm-hmm. it. That's the, that's the entire process there. Now, um, you were able to do... Um, now, how did you do this? You, you took the call script and put it into Calendly? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So... Okay, so yes, yeah, break that down. So yeah, so there's three ways people can find you, right? Mm-hmm. They can either call you, right? They can either Google you, or they can either walk into your place of business if you have a brick and mortar spot. So we're mobile. We don't have a physical location. So you get to either call me or you got to Google me. So once you Google me, or once you call me, and and finding your position on Google search results, that's a whole nother subject as well, right? You yeah. gotta have your SEO up, right? And I pay someone to do that for me, to actually put me in a certain position. So when people hit certain keywords, my name pops up. So you hit my name, click on the link, click on my calendar or click on my website. And then the call script is already there or the intake form is already there. They fill it out, they enter the name, they answer a couple of questions, where do you live? What kind of document do you have? Mm-hmm. How many signatures are, how many people are going to be signing this, including yourself? And, you know, there's some other questions in there as far as, you know, security gate codes, parking, dogs. All right. I don't want to walk into your house and there's dogs jumping all yeah. over the place, yeah. right? Because yeah, that happens. And um, I've got some stories about crazy stuff and people pulling pistols on. Man, listen. Wow. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. In California, <laughs> where properties, yeah. But anyway, those first three questions, and then they agree. Now, now, a, a question that I get all the time is, how do you price it, right? How do you get people, how do you uh, determine what the cost is, right? And that's going to be up to you. I can't tell you how, what the price of services is, but I want to tell you that if you are willing to go into a house that you don't know who lives there, you don't know what's in there, consider your safety. You gotta, you want to go there at 8 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock in the morning. You have to cross a bridge. You have to park, uh, you know. How much is your time worth? How much mm-hmm. is your that hour or that 30 minutes of your time worth? And then you set the price. So some people don't know how to figure that out. How do you figure out what my time is worth? And there's steps to figure that out as well. You know? Matter of fact, let, let, let's have a, ask everybody on here now. Um, <clears throat> who on here on this notary war room 
is brand new to the game. Type in one if you're brand new to the game. If, if like you've never notarized not one piece of paper yet. Type in one. Type in two if you have done some notarizations and you do have some skin in the game. And type in three if you're a damn expert. God damn, the threes came in quick. I was waiting <laughs> for you to say that. <laughs> woo, them threes are like, woo, zoom. Okay, okay, we got we got ones. We got quite a few ones, and then we have a lot of threes. And then if, 